In this video, you will learn about the common tax reliefs that help to reduce tax bills. Some common tax reliefs that help companies to reduce tax bills are the Tax Exemption Scheme for New Startup Companies and the Partial Tax Exemption Scheme. The Tax Exemption Scheme for New Startup Companies is granted to qualifying new companies for their first three consecutive years of assessment or YAs from its incorporation. To qualify for the exemption, eligible companies must satisfy three conditions. First, the company must be incorporated in Singapore. Second, the company must be a tax resident in Singapore for that YA. This means that the control and management of its business is exercised in Singapore for that YA. Lastly, the company's total share capital has to be beneficially held directly by no more than 20 shareholders throughout the basis period for that YA, where all the shareholders are either individuals or at least one shareholder is an individual holding at least 10% of the issued ordinary shares of the company. Please note that the tax exemption scheme for new startup companies is not available to a company whose principal activity is that of investment holding. It is also not available to a company that undertakes property development for sale, investment or both. Under this tax exemption scheme, companies will enjoy a 75% exemption on the first $100,000 of their normal chargeable income and a further 50% exemption on the next $100,000 of their normal chargeable income. This means that $75,000 is exempted from the first $100,000 of your company's normal chargeable income and $50,000 is exempted on the next $100,000 of normal chargeable income. The maximum exemption for each YA under this scheme is $125,000. To claim the tax exemption, simply complete the relevant section of the corporate income tax return. Companies that do not qualify for the tax exemption scheme for new startup companies can still avail themselves to the partial tax exemption scheme. Under the partial tax exemption scheme, companies will enjoy a 75% tax exemption on the first $10,000 of their normal chargeable income and a further 50% exemption on the next $190,000 of their normal chargeable income. This means that $7,500 is exempted from the first $10,000 of your company's normal chargeable income and $95,000 is exempted on the next $190,000 of normal chargeable income. The maximum exemption for each YA under this scheme is $102,500. Let's see which tax exemption scheme applies to SE Pastries Private Limited and BB Bakery Private Limited. SE Pastries has met the qualifying conditions for the tax exemption scheme for new startup companies. The company's normal chargeable income before the exempt amount for YA20X4 is $29,500. SE Pastries will enjoy a 75% exemption on this amount, which works out to be $22,125. Thus, its normal chargeable income after the exempt amount is $7,375 and its tax payable is $1,253.75. In order to claim the tax exemption, SE Pastries needs to complete the relevant section of the corporate income tax return. The exempt amount will be automatically calculated for the company. On the other hand, BB Bakery does not qualify for the tax exemption scheme for new startup companies, but it can still avail itself to the partial tax exemption scheme. BB Bakery's normal chargeable income before the exempt amount for YA20X4 is $500,000.
BB Bakery will enjoy a 75% exemption on the first $10,000 of its normal chargeable income, which works out to be $7,500. A further 50% exemption is granted on the next $190,000 of BB Bakery's normal chargeable income. This works out to be $95,000. A total of $102,500 of BB Bakery's normal chargeable income is exempted from tax. Thus, BB Bakery's normal chargeable income after the exempt amount is $397,500 and its tax payable is $67,575. And great news, BB Bakery! This partial tax exemption will be automatically calculated when you file your corporate income tax return. Let's recap. The tax exemption scheme for new startup companies and the partial tax exemption scheme are some of the common tax reliefs that help companies to reduce tax bills. The tax exemption scheme for new startup companies is granted to qualifying new companies for their first three consecutive YAs upon incorporation. Companies that do not qualify for the tax exemption scheme for new startup companies can still enjoy the partial tax exemption scheme. You may visit the IRAS website or contact us for more information.